The clean camper, this is the pale morning done version. I'm using a pale primrose six aught thread. Any fine gauge thread will work fine. Wrap it up to about the, oh, the midpoint of the hook and you want to attach that hook so that the point is reaching out. The tail is maybe a dozen fibers of icy fur and I like the uh, rusty orange color because it really does look like the shuck to them. And I'm tying that on before I wrap my th the thread down to the heel of the hook because most people find that wrapping uh, just the plain thread down there, it won't stay in place, it'll slip around on you. And adding that material keeps it in place. The body is just a pale morning done dubbing and I'm winding that in a very thin layer tightly dubbed up about three quarters of the way up this uh, hook shank I'm putting a double layer down again just as fine as you can possibly get it on the thread. You just want to barely coat the thread. The wing is uh, basically the same kind of uh, stuff. It's just icy fur. I'm using kind of a pale dun color for the wing. And I'm tying that on about a quarter of an inch in front of the hook eye. You want to gather that up. Wrap behind it a little bit. And then while holding it in your hands, you're going to wrap some thread around it in a loose wrap, pull it tight, and then wrap down to the shank of the hook. I'm using the same kind of dubbing, only this time I'm using kind of a, of a sulfur dun color. It's kind of a pale orange. Hackle, any kind of a brown hackle will work just fine. I like furnace. And I love saddles. And you'll notice I've left a little dubbing on my thread to cover up those thread buds. I've left the shiny side of that feather facing up because it cups down and provides some support so that this fly floats right in the surface film. And the only trick is that you're winding down towards the hook each wrap of hackle underneath the one prior to it, pushing the, the prior wraps up. Fairly loose and then pull them tight as you come around. And I'm applying more hackle than most people are used to because out here right now we have a lot of water in the rivers and we want something that will support this fly without a lot of false casting and use a half hitch tool they sell them here at the Cadis Fly it will uh, prevent you from having to uh, push the hackle up with your fingers and getting it out of uh, 
position. Clip it. Stand this up straight and clip it to about half the length of the hook shank. It's just a kind of a nub. And there you have the fly.